Hello everyone, it's your girl Imanse. We are now on another exciting episode of In Style We Trust. Today I am with a beautiful young lady, Miss Lady of Lario Robes, and we're going to talk about robes, robes, robes. So robes have become like a huge part of weddings. Um, a lot of people now want them customized, they want their names at the back, they want their husband's names, Mr. and Mrs. Like so many different things are happening with robes now. So I'm so excited to kind of delve into um, this robe brand and then, you know, hopefully bring you guys a couple of nuggets in this um, our discussion. Hi, Miss Lady, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you doing? Thank too? you so much for coming to this episode of Style We Trust. We're going to talk about your robes. We're going to talk about robes, robes, robes. And you're going to let us know, you know, what got you into robes. So, um, why why robes of all the other style elements why are you, why did you choose to do robes okay because um robes like it's for everybody mm -hmm. every woman wants a robe mm -hmm. and even men too have had where men they want robes too and robe is very classic like mm -hmm. it can never go out of fashion but um we've been having different designs mm -hmm. different tastes different everything is different right now but robes will always be there for weddings for the house for every yeah, kind true. of occasion yes Okay, so um, I noticed that you have lace, silk, cotton, and Ankara. I'm actually wearing um, a Lariel robe, um, Ankara. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, what? Why are you doing different? Because I usually or typically think that robes are like more silk. Yeah. How come you have like different? Do people actually want different um, materials in robes? Yes, like. I feel everybody's different and mm -hmm. there sometimes my customers like the bride they tell me Larry just do something different for me okay. I just want something like out of this world just bring out something and I'll just sit down let me just create something like what I'm wearing I'm wearing Adire sometimes okay. you go all the way to Abelkota to bring out like for them to do the tie and dye right like, so this um, is like the cotton Adire yes okay. we have the, and we have different types we use feathers like we have to really? sit down yes we sit down to create towels so that everybody is really feeling very good before their wedding and like they're always so happy when they get just like their wedding dress yeah yeah so they're always so happy we just want them to feel good and like in turn they bring videos you see them dancing in their videos you see them smiling makeup so it's just for it's just for every woman okay that's perfect so where where do you stock your robes where can we get your robes okay and what makes your robes different from all the other robes because you know people a lot of people um kind of sell robes yeah you know so what makes your robes unique what makes your robes different okay firstly i store my robes in my home my home is my office right now okay yeah so like i do most of the sewing cutting and designing from the house and what makes my robe different is that for every robes for every customer there is something specific about the robes i just don't okay. do the normal robes like there's so much strength attached to every robes like i am like that sometimes they tell me oh this robe is so expensive and i'm like you can see my robes like they're not just the ordinary robes and like it's true like I must give you kudos, like you really take your time for your mm -hmm. robe. So like mm -hmm. I I try and sit down and create design for like each very yes, for each customer. I treat every customer very well. So I think that is what makes my brand very different. I also see that like I I've I've kind of scrolled through your Instagram and I've seen like your um you have a lot of bridesmaids, you know. So the how how long does it typically take you to take like orders from you know start to finish okay it depends um first it depends on the color like um sometimes my customers they tell me oh i want this particular color i want very dark yellow i might go to the market i won't get the dark yellow they'll tell okay. me oh it's out of stock come back and sometimes they tell me they want this particular like magenta and that sometimes <laughs> it's not in the market even the mm -hmm. people that are selling the silk they don't even know what these colors are even the burgundy they don't know <laughs> they don't know it so that's funny once i get the material it takes like a week then okay. when they want their name it takes at least a week and a half yes i was going to ask because i noticed that you put a lot of um signage at the back so people obviously want it um customized yeah. you do the customization yourself or you put in delegate that out to other people yeah i delegate that to other people that's for people that do the embroidery okay yes. my um the customization actually comes in embroidery i don't do the print i do the embroidery so it's more sophisticated that way so let me ask you a trick question. Yeah. If you were, you know, if, if there was, the house was burning right now and you had to leave your house with just two pieces of clothing, what would you take? 
I think I will take the lace robe and I'm going to take the Ankara robe because the Ankara robe is ever evolving. They are always like you always have new pieces of Ankara. So every Ankara robe I do, like I know this Ankara, I'm not going to see it again in the market. Okay. Yes, yeah, like they are bringing out so new So you get designs. unique fabrics. Yeah. Do you have like people that call you? and you know yes. tell you oh this fabric is we, coming out yes too. it's very nice you won't see it anymore exactly. quickly come on yes like okay. you just feel we have like just take this one you won't get it anywhere else so yes so who do you hope to design robes for in the future yeah i hope to design robes for what do i hope to design robes for i don't know i just want to design for everybody like i don't have a particular person i just want everybody to feel good i want everybody to be comfortable wearing my robes anybody at all like i just want everybody to be able to order for the robes and feel good in it okay so are you going to go into other because as i'm as i'm wearing the robes i'm actually thinking of different things like um imagine if like this set had like the slippers of it yeah. so are you going to add slippers through and make it like a full home collection yes yes i'm going to do that i also saw bedroom slippers part of the collection okay. we have satin bonnets but you know that sometimes that my customers like the bride they're always on a budget they tell me oh see i'm the one that is paying for the bride's me they're not ready but i just want this i just want robes i just wanted to be part of the pictures so yes, just so just do this just do this for yes. me yes i just sometimes i do according to their budget and when they have like excess budget sometimes they don't they don't have a limited budget so they just let me just do everything nice for me so i i include the bedroom slippers yes. the bonnet for them yeah, yeah. like that yes, actually yeah. would love if i mean this is this is free advice so you have to pay me for it okay, but actually ma. would love if you you know had like you know matching slippers and like yeah. the matching the scarf the car, or yeah. yeah i think that would be really nice to add to the collection okay. so what are your okay. short-term or long-term plans with your collection okay um the short-term plan i have i have is um I hope to to um, to to be a brand like a brand like everybody can associate with. Okay. Every bride can associate with. Okay. Every hotel, even like there, there's sometimes like there's a particular time. Um, Chris Land is cool. Okay. Called me to make robes for their um graduating set okay yes for nice. their prom mm -hmm. so i just want everybody to be able to associate with me i want to be a brand in the in the um, bridal world like and my um, long-term goal is to be um part of the bridal fashion week i want um okay. robes the sure. way people see wedding girls as important i yeah. want robes to also be very important it's because it's, it's like a norm it's just like something a a bride must wear yeah, yeah. i mean i think apart from focusing on fashion week i think you should just focus on any other um exhibition because yeah. robes are a huge part of everyone's, everyone's life. like yeah. i wear robes all the time i don't know if you, if you check my instagram you see me kind of confessing that it's yeah. like my favorite thing to, to wear. wear so i don't think you should restrict your um showcase to only the bridal fashion week yeah. i think you should shoot for you know all other um Fashion. Yeah, yeah, all other fashion shows yeah. coming up. Okay. Um, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to um, look at beautiful pieces from Alariel Robes. Hello, everyone. My name is Christina, the creative head of Catchy Signature. Hi, everyone. This is Omota Shadami. The creative director of Imado Lagos. My name is Laide, creative director of Laria Roads. This is Mosumala from Moshe Kator. And this is In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. Proudly sponsored by Fest Bank. Welcome back to In Style We Trust. We are still here talking to Miss Lighty of Lario Robes. And um, we're going to kind of walk through more stuff. I hope you learned a couple of things from um, our previous conversation. So what motivates you as a fashion designer in the industry? And do you, do you think you're going to expand into other things apart from, you know, the bonnets, the slippers and the robes? Yeah, um, what motivates me, I would say um, my customers, my brides, like they want more. They just want more. <laughs> they are never satisfied. They just they just want more. Like 
I every time I make ribs, I'm like they always tell me don't do the regular ribs for me. I don't want the regular ribs. So I think that is what motivates me to design more. And oh, then the second question, if I'm going to um, expand, yes, I definitely want to expand into more things. But the truth about it is that ribs is very, very like it takes your whole body, your whole ads. It's really? not something you can just okay. Let me just go into something else. Like that is what I do. So I'm like. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. So to get I think, a robe, one yes, robe. yes. Oh, so wow. it takes a lot. So I think I'm building with time. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get to where I should, where I should add a lot of things. But for now, I think I just want to build the focus. brand, yes, and focus on making really nice robes and really good collections. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Kind of like just sticking on one leg. Yeah. But when people say they want to do something different, do something crazy, where where are you going with robes? I mean, robes is kind of like a one-dimensional thing so yes. how crazy do people want their robes to be yes oh like very crazy sometimes they tell me oh i want this very very short i want the lace i want just give me everything together the lace. i have to tell them see like we can't just add everything together they want the beads they want the pearl they want as i'm not they even want the um embroidery they want stones they really? just want everything like they just want it very robe. big, yes, on one robe, yes. Oh, so I wow. think that's like the height and that's like the limit of it. So is 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 going into robes um lucrative? Yes, very lucrative, yes, because you are not just doing for one person. Yeah, that sometimes you make robes for just one person, but at the end of the day, like you're making for like 12, 12 bridesmaids, mm -hmm. you're making for like 16 bridesmaids, you're wow. making for like 10 bridesmaids. So if you have to do that like in a week, you are taking like maybe from four brides in a week and you have like 10 eight so you have to yeah wow, that's yeah so you have numbers yeah, exactly so yeah. how do you get do you have how much staff do you have how do you get this um people done in a week or two weeks yes i have i have tailors that work for me mm -hmm. i have people that cut for me they sew and i have people that do the em embroidery i have people that iron then yes i think that's it they're yes. probably like a delivery people or yes, something yes like i use courier service here yeah, okay. yes for the delivery yes but aside that for the robes i think i just have then i go to the market myself to source for the fabric Fabrics. because i actually don't like it when customers complain oh this material is not good this material no so like i have to go to the market you have market to make sure it's on point yes, yes. well that's pretty amazing well guys there you have it this is robes 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 so please tell everyone where they can find you on social media and to slide into your DMs to hit you up if they need a robe. Okay, you can slide into my um, <laughs> Instagram, um, Lario Robes, and on Facebook, Lario Robes. Yes, that's where you find me. And through DM, and yeah, that's it. Okay, well guys, thank you so much. It's been an amazing episode of learning about robes. So if you're getting married or you're a bridesmaid, definitely she's the one that you need to hit up. All right, it's been really fantastic. Thank you, goodbye, and God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Christina, the creative head of Catchy Signature. Hi everyone, this is Omota Shadami, the creative director of Imado Lagos. My name is Laide, creative director of Lyra Robes. This is Mosumala from Moshe Couture. And this is... In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. Proudly sponsored by Fest Bank. Welcome back to this fabulous episode of In Style We Trust. We're still talking about robes. And right now, you're going to look at some beautiful pieces from Lario Robes. And please come and join me on the carpet. And, you know, let's just kind of show people the different kind of robes you do and what robes fit different occasions. So we're going to start with the pink set right there. And if you could um, please tell the people out okay. there. Okay. This is um, a silk long robe. And this is for the regular bride that doesn't want to show too much. This is just the regular robe we have, okay. long robe, yes. And we don't forget to put the tradition, the robe, yes. Even if the robe is going to go in fashion and we still can't forget the um, normal robes. Okay. Yes. And um, 
the second piece of robe is a lace robe with okay. um, some details at the end. Like bell yes. sleeves. Yes, bell sleeves, yes. Then this robe is um, chiffon. chiffon. It's a custom made robe because yeah. I see a name yes. behind. Yes. This is um, chiffon and, and Ankara. Ankara, yes, neckline. Just it's kind from, of like the, yeah, from, from exactly. the collection of what I'm wearing. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay. Then this robe is like from the collection I of like our this. bridal bridal robes for the bridesmaids. Yes, with um, lace at the sleeve. Lace and silk. Yes, and silk. Then this robe. This is a silk robe with um, it's for a bride. With pearl beads, yeah, I see details. pearls. Yes. Oh, that's cute. Yes, and these were handmade just for the bride. Okay. Yes, for this. So this is um, a wine robe, yeah, and with lace details okay. and lace details at lace the hands. end. Yeah. Okay. Then this is from a bridal set collection. Okay. This is um, I like this silk, color. yes, with um, lace sleeves. Okay. Yes. Then this is black with white fringe tassel and lace. Luxurious. Yes, this is a luxurious That's piece. Yes. Then, I really like this yeah. one you're about to bring out. This is for a bride. So what, what do people oh. wear in in this robe? Yeah, they because, can for the wedding. Because are meant to cover you. Yes. Know, this is a transparent lace robe. For the wedding, yeah, they can wear. It comes with a silk inner. Okay. Yes, for the wedding, so they can use it for their picture. It comes with a short silk inner. Okay. Yes. And then this is a masterpiece. Yes, this is a this is a red robe. This doesn't have to be for a bridal, for the bridal person. We 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 are going to say that um the robes. Um, robes are for the house, yeah, mm -hmm. and robes are to bring back sexiness, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is for a woman. This is for a like. This is for a wife, yeah. Not okay. a wife, a girlfriend. So you just anything, wear this yeah. around the house, yes. With what underneath? Anything you want to, and you can wear it naked. If you, as in, you can be naked and wear it <laughs> ordinarily if you want to, yeah. Well, guys, you yeah. heard it here first. It actually has no. It's not joined, so you just kind of throw it on. On, yes, with your belt. Like she said, you can be naked in this. Yeah. Um, she's trying to bring sexy back. I guess yeah. that's the that's the whole that's the whole purpose of robes. Yeah. Well, guys, you heard it here first. Um, thank you, Lariel, for coming to our show. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, this has been another beautiful episode of In Style Retrust. I remain your girl, Imanse, and goodbye and God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Christina, the creative head of Catchy Signature. Hi everyone, this is Omota Shadami, the creative director of Imado Lagos. My name is Laide, creative director of Laria Robes. This is Mosumala from Moshe Couture. And this is... In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. In Style We Trust. Proudly sponsored by Fest Bank.